never imagined I'd see you again. Indeed. Emil, I've missed you so much. How long has it been since we last spoke? Since you left House Bartels, I was eight. And just look at you now, all grown up. I notice that you still indulge in sweets. It makes me happy to see that you're still the same in some ways. Hmm. It has been some time since I've tasted such a thing. Well, of course. That's because this is a recipe only Mother and I know of. Oh no, you've gotten crumbs all over your face. Sit still while I wipe them off. Stop it. Oh, come on. Allow me to be your big sis. It won't hurt you to indulge me. Mercedes, the little brother you once loved, he is no longer here. It doesn't matter to me how you've changed. You will always be my baby brother. You are precious to both me and to Mother. Mother is well, I assume. She is very well. You should send her a letter. She'd be so thrilled. I suppose. Mother has always borne a deep regret over what happened. We should have brought you with us. We never intended to leave you alone with House Bartels. Perhaps not. But it was wise of Mother to have only taken you. As the heir, if she had taken me, Father would have searched relentlessly for us all, and had he found us, I feel certain he'd have killed you both. Yes, that's what Mother said too. He'd have done exactly that. You know, I've heard about what happened, about killing the family of House Bartels. And? Are you afraid of me? Or do you despise me? Neither of those. That isn't why I bring this up. I understand your reasons, but it's a terrible thing to take a life. You understood that even then. I've been waiting a very long time to ask you. Why did you do it? Why did you kill your father? Because I wanted to. I know you're avoiding my question. I can hear it in your voice. I won't ask any further if you don't want to tell me why. But just let me know if you ever feel ready to talk to me about it. Understood. The time may eventually come. Until then, I'll wait patiently. Hello, Emil. The War Council is about to begin. Come on! <sighs> What's the matter? You're so pale. Have you been injured? Emil? Ah! Must slay more! What? There is no pleasure to be had in these halls. My thirst is unbearable. Perhaps bathing in your blood will help satiate me. Emil? Wait! You... You're not Emil. You're the Death Knight. You may look like him, but you are not him. He would never say such a thing. What care I for names? I care only to kill or be killed. I see. So you want to kill me? Then do as you must. It is within your rights. My... rights? Mother and I must be the reason that Death Knight exists within you. A young boy left all alone in House Bartels without us? I can't imagine how lonely and terrible that must have been. To our half-siblings who bore no crests, we were nothing more than intruders. Their horrible words and violent actions were only bearable because the three of us supported one another through it. All alone in a place like that, 
It's little wonder that you broke down as you have. We should have rescued you. We should have offered ourselves to save you. Nonsense. However, we cannot turn back the hands of time. Atonement is all I have for you now. Uh, you don't understand anything. Emil? The day you left, 18 years ago, I told Mother to leave me there. What? But why did you do such a thing? I... wanted to protect you. I am glad that we are reunited. I am happy that you are... alive. I... I am so sorry, my dear sister. Emil... You trust too much, allowing someone who has turned their blade on you to come near. Because there are two sides to you, you fear that I endanger myself? I am nothing more than a merciless killer. A demon whose only pleasure is found within death's shadow. Such a creature should not be allowed near you, dear sister. Just what are you implying, Emil? I have come to bid you farewell. Today, I will leave the monastery for good. If I stay, it is only a matter of time before I hurt you. Just like I did those in House Bartels. You can't leave! But, if it must be so, then answer me this before you depart. Why did you kill your father? <sighs> On the day I took his life, father had just discovered that you and mother were hiding at a church in the kingdom. He was considering bringing both of you back home, but by then, Mother was past the age to bear children. And so, he proclaimed that he would take the only other female of the Lamine bloodline. That he would take you as his wife. What happened after that? I remember nothing of it. How I killed him, or what his final words were. You... You did it for me. To protect me. Regardless of reasons, a demon is a demon. I have said enough. Hold on! That isn't fair! Not fair? No! You can't just tell me all of that and then vanish forever. Please stay. At least until this horrible war meets its end. I want you around just a while longer. But... All that I do results in harm to others. You saw it yourself. The demon that lives within bears his fangs indiscriminately. You... know all of this. And still you wish for me to remain? Even if I am hurt, or worse yet, killed, if it is by your hand, then I will find peace. I am, and will always be, your big sister, Emil. Mercedes, I... I love you, Emil. That never changes. Understand? I understand. Then, I will remain here a while longer. Until we see this war through, I will remain by your side. Shh.